Hello Wolves! So, um, yeah. <laughs> I know this is so weird because I'm filming a video in the middle of the day during my lunch break kind of thing um, just because there is no vlog coming today because I decided to take a break for some reason um, I just want my channel, my Instagram, my Twitter to be a safe place so that's why I'm using the hashtag for my pack in uh, my publications now, uploading whatever um, and yeah, and I was like, yeah, there's not going to be a vlog, maybe I should do something else or whatever. So I decided to do uh, an unboxing, very cozy unboxing. So as you can see, if you're following me on Instagram, you know this is the actual outfit I put on this morning to um, start working kind of thing. I don't have any makeup, you can see I look tired kind of thing, whatever. There is no light, there is no fairy light, it's just you and me and some unboxings that I'm gonna do right now. So here is everything. There is also like the white box, it is the unplugged book box, but I'm gonna unbox it at the end. So you can just leave the video at that point if you don't wanna get spoiled or whatever. But the rest, I feel like I can uh, unbox everything. Um, do I have my scissors somewhere? That would be useful. This is so weird to be filming a video with no makeup and no linings, whatever, but I like it. So first we have that. Uh, I'm showing you that because everyone has seen uh, these in their stories kind of thing. So you know G uh, from uh, Book Rose, she has a shop and she did last year bookmarks for the news was it for the news i think it was for the news the bookmarks are somewhere here she created these bookmarks last year for the news i believe it was here it focuses okay so she did um some new bookmarks uh for the owls now so i'm just gonna open it and that's inside that kind of envelope and there is another one in it which is super well packed uh reading is magic please do not ban so here it is with the constellations etc etc so you had the possibility to actually order uh, the one from last year um plus the one for this year but i already had them so i wouldn't like order more same size same yeah same pretty much everything is it the same logo on the back yes so we have one here that says Three turns should be it with a time turner, a very epic scene here. So here you have Hogsmeade. So here you can see the Owl 2020. Uh, you have a dog here. I'm not going to say more blah, 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 but this is clearly um, a symbolic part of the third book in Harry Potter. So Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Then we have Newt exam. Oh, she did another one for the Newt coming in August here very beautiful hippogriff i love it and i think that's it yes so i will put her uh shop down below her channel down below i don't know if there is some more available but if you want to check it out please feel free to do so then i got a package uh, from amazon i believe this is a gift so i will link my wish list down below this is obviously coming from that wish list and let's see what it is. I knew it. I knew that it was Daniela's gift. So she said here, Hi Sasha, I hope this will brighten your day. I haven't read it, but I've heard great things about it. Take care and say hi to Mooney from me, Daniela. Thank you so much, Daniela. I will link her channel down below. She's also a booktuber and the book is The Girl Who Drank the Moon. Yes, Who Drank the Moon. And it is obviously going on a certain TBR, I'm gonna have to film super soon, but this is, oh my gosh, thank you so much, this is perfect, perfect, because I've been dying to read that one, and especially because I was planning on adding it to my future TBR kind of thing, and it has to do with a girl who has some magic, that's all I know. There is magic in Starlight, of course, this is well known. Moonlight, however, that is a different story. Moonlight is magic, ask anyone you like okay this beautifully written darkly funny coming of age story will enchant and entertain 
Hmm, cannot wait. Thank you so much again, Daniela. I will link her channel down below and make sure to check her out. And your little note is going to be my bookmark when I will be reading that book. Then there is another um, Amazon package. I feel this is actually the third book in a series that I need to read. Then I got this book, so Amber Queen by uh, Laura Sebastian, which is the sequel, I mean the third book in a series. I don't know the name of that series, but the first book is Ash Princess. The second book is Lady of Smoke and or Lady Smoke. Lady Smoke, <laughs> and this one is the third one. Um, I cannot wait to read that one, especially because I feel like that series is for me a three story series because it's good but nothing special kind of thing. And the first one is basically the story of a girl who lives under the control of a guy who actually came one day and conquered uh, her entire kingdom. So he killed everyone she loved and knew and she's basically a slave now. But she's not like a slave slave. He uses her as a as some kind of trophy kind of thing. So she has dresses, she doesn't have to do tons of like slavery stuff etc. But whenever he wants to show people that he has control over everything, he brings her. And you can see that she has no personality, nothing, because she's basically empty. She doesn't know who she are, who she are, wow, who she is. And I, I, I loved it because I loved everything going on around it. Um, but yeah, I will link my review. I think I filmed the review over there. And yeah, I cannot wait to read uh, the sequel. So at the end of that trilogy, I really love the covers. So from that series. Okay, so here we have two uh, packages from Amazon that go together, kind of thing. So let me open them. Okay, so here is everything I ordered. It's actually like makeup brushes, like nothing special, nothing interesting, whatever. But I wanted more because I personally love to have my brushes clean. And whenever I put makeup, I love to actually wash them, clean them after. And because of that, I cannot use them for like one day kind of thing because I have to let them dry. Sometimes it's two days, it depends. So whenever I wanna re-put makeup on my face, I cannot because the brushes, the brushes are not dry kind of thing. And I wash them every single time I use them, which is maybe not necessary kind of thing but as sometimes I do heavy makeup you know black etc and then I go yellow and then green or whatever I cannot allow myself to actually mix those colors so I love my brushes to be clean and I don't wear makeup like every single day I put makeup on my face whenever I film a video that's pretty much it so once twice maybe three times a month that's it so that's why I can allow myself to actually wash them every single time and like I wash them every time I use it but like fast and once a month it's like the deep cleaning kind of thing but yeah so I wanted more so I got some wizardry uh let's say wizardry kind of thing I will show you and two plus storybook cosmetics and it has a s I know it's not s for slytherin but for a storybook but I you know Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you very quickly. Uh, first, oops. There's, these are all for eyes, like eyes brushes, if you can see here. But the, the interesting part is actually the other half of it, because these are ones. So that's all I wanted to show you. Yeah, basically brushes with ones from the Wizarding Board. Kind of thing. I really love them. I really do love them, so I cannot wait to actually use them. Okay, they're soft, but they're firm at the same time. This one is more fluffy, this one as well. Okay, firm. Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna love them, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know how good they are. <laughs> okay, and then I have two boxes here. I don't know which one is in which box. Okay, I remember that box, but I don't remember this one. Okay, I'm gonna show you the two boxes here. And let's start with this one. Oh, what's... Oh, yeah, that's the one I remember. I really don't know what the other thing here. Okay, so it comes in a little pouch like this. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them in that pouch or if I'm gonna display them in a bowl kind of thing. 
Ooh. Ooh. But basically, <laughs> I think I got enough brushes now. Oh my god, I didn't realize that was that big, like all together. But yeah, I got so many 32 brushes here. And some I will never use, like these ones, you know, with a little sponge um, on it. Can you see? That's the kind of brushes I just basically never use. But all the others will be used. Uh, the only thing I don't like in brushes is that they never put the name of what you will be using it for. Like I have uh, from Real real techniques kind of thing and it's written here if it's for counseling if it's for eyeshadows inside of the eye or outside of the eye kind of thing and i find it very helpful it doesn't mean that you only have to do to use that for that whatever but it really helps oh very fluffy i love it um but yeah this is obviously concealing etc etc and this one i'm using uh, one like this for uh, my concealer, not my concealer, my uh, foundation. The only thing I find disappointing is that they never put what, brush it, what brushes is for what. And honestly, it wasn't expensive at all. I maybe paid for everything 30 bucks, so we'll see. Okay, that one, I have no idea what it is. Okay, let me check on Amazon if I actually ordered all three boxes or they added something oh yes i actually ordered that one as well to have more for my eyes i don't know why i ordered so many different brands again it doesn't say what brush or what but basically it's a box with oops more brushes because apparently i got some kind of addiction now like just brushes nothing special so now i can do like several makeups in the row like if I film different videos I could do like different makeups um, for that same video no for different videos I'm not gonna wear four makeups in one video but you know what I mean so yeah that's a little boring for you I'm so sorry I don't have more bookish stuff to show you we're gonna go with the um, most exciting part of this unboxing i mean at least for me is the unplugged book box uh box i think it is the february one i'm not sure i think it is the february one why is it already March? Maybe it's March actually. In case you don't know, Unplugged Book Box is a bookish box subscription based in the USA. You order one, you get a new one every single month with a new theme, etc. etc. So you get a book and goodies. The difference with other um, boxes is that Unplugged Book Box focuses on self care. You're gonna have lotions like body lotions, hand creams, uh, face masks, etc. etc. Candles with specific smells kind of thing. Or, I don't know, items you could use every single day. So it's more focused on self-care than just like show off that it can do goodies, if you know what I mean. So this is basically my favorite bookish box, in case you were not aware of that. So I'm just gonna unbox it and see what we got. Okay, I completely destroyed the box, but please excuse me for that. Here is the box. So the yes, it is a March one and the theme was Know Your Limits here on the other side you have all the spoilers of what we're gonna get in this box which i'm not gonna look at right now so first i see a candle oh yeah by the way this is a ya box because i ordered a ya box but there is also an adult version of the box with a different book different goodies etc which is as good as this one because i tried it once and because i'm watching every single month all the unboxings so so you know Okay, first we got a candle. Neil, Justin, Leather, Spices and Toasted Oak. Uh, Geeky Girl Scents and Plug Book Box Exclusive. Ooh. Oh, I have one that smells like this one. But with the, the spices and leather. The inside of the candle is absolutely gorgeous. And even the label on top of it. Or around it. But what is it inspired by? From the foxhole court by Nora Sakavich is constantly pushing himself well beyond its limits, which leads to a number of detrimental situations. Okay, never heard of that book. Should maybe check it out. But I love the smell of the candle actually. It's not too strong, so I wouldn't have like a headache from smelling it. So 
I love it and candles are always a win with me okay then I see this I oh is it a mask I think it's something you can put on your eyes or maybe not because it do you think it can go on your eyes and then you can put it in the freezer or something but I love the design whatever it is I love the cosmosy kind of designs and yeah it really looks like something I could put on my eyes actually the sky is the limit eye pillow one thing we all need to do is get more sleep and fend off headaches when they come on the sky is the limit with this beautiful eye pillow designed and made by Lacey J Boutique I really do love it so it's a pillow for eyes okay not helping with my glasses here okay now I'm gonna nap a little bit. Oh my gosh, I should try it. That's interesting and that's really soft. But I wonder if I could put it in a freezer. I never had anything like this. So I might look stupid right now because I don't know exactly how you can use it. But I really... And it smells so good. I don't know if it's because of something in the box. Yeah, I smelled it. But I really love it. We'll try definitely okay and that's actually what i'm smelling uh love and gelato that's a book i haven't read uh this is officially um uh, what's written i cannot read what's written on it love and gelato shower streamer yes lena from love and gelato by jenna Owens felt faces a number of life-changing situations after being forced to move to Tuscany, Italy, she has to test her comfort zone and limits in order to make the most of her situation. And what's written here? La not pibera de... Oh, that's in Italian. That's why I was like, I don't understand what's written. But it's very cute. Okay, worms, please, bye-bye. Looks like this. It's really cute. So I do use them as... Um, shower streamer I put them on the side and I put them in the, in the box like kind of thing and I open it when I want it to mix my shower smells you know what I mean I really do love it even through the packages I mean the packaging I can smell and I really love that minty smell so I'm really loving it okay then we have here I guess this is gonna be some kind of lotions right but what's the shop? Ooh, Alice. Forest herbs, maps, and figs by Gems and Jewels. Ingredients. Shea butter, vitamin E, oil, vegetable, glycerin, aloe vera juice, and fragrance oil. Okay, I love that there is figs in it. Oh. Oh. Wow, it's not... Oh, I love it. Oh, where's that from? Alice from the Bond House by Emily Leo Jones, I haven't read it, suffers from chronic pain. He pushes himself to the limit with this condition in order to help others, namely the gravedigger brain, to get rid of the bone houses. My gosh, I... Oh, I'm dying for that smell, Wolves. It's so good. I love it. It's delicious. So here is the packaging. Darker than usual, but I really love it. I love that little thing here. No, I really do love that packaging, and but I love that smell. Oh my gosh, Wolves, I'm addicted. Oh. Oh, it so good. <laughs> we got more things here. Okay, I think we got a tote bag, and this is so weird because I know... Oh, that's a big tote bag, so I love it. It's red. I don't have any red one, and I don't have any that has those, like... Will you be able to see here? You see, it's not like plain red kind of thing. And it has something printed on it that says, uh, Fears is a phoenix. You can watch it burn a thousand times and still it will return. Okay. I cannot remember in which book it was. I know it's Libor Dugo because I've read it somewhere else. Crooked Kingdom by Libor Dugo is the second book in the sixth of Crow's duology. Each of the main six characters test their limits in this conclusion to these stories. Okay, I really do love it. I'm not like a biggest fan of the red because it's very like, it's creaming, you know what I mean? Like I love uh, colors that I can wear with anything, but I really don't mind because this is a tote bag. It's not like it's a scarf or whatever. So I do love it and I will actually use it. 
but here is the design from up close if you can see yep it's beautiful i love the details i love how shiny it is actually who made that it was made by ezra.arts on instagram okay well well done okay then i got a few cards here was that one heat cold pack place in the microwave for 30 seconds on high continue with 10 seconds in okay that's for the uh eye pillow i'm guessing yes so I got the instructions, so I was right, I wasn't that stupid. So I got a bookmark here, the Fox's bookmark, to go along with this month's candle. The Foxes of Palmetto State University in the Foxhole Court are a group of ragtag teammates that have all been pushed beyond their limits while growing up. They come together to help one another in ways no one else can. It is an unplugged, exclusive design. It's not the world that's cruel, it's the people in it. Hope was a dangerous, disguiding thing, but he out perhaps he liked it so here is the de design on that side i really love the paw here <laughs> and here on the other side i love the the colors actually so i love how it is but i don't know what the book is about dear unplugged friend please excuse my appearance this month after taking two polls one via email and one on instagram and facebook it was voted to switch to a simple basic box for the month of march and april and possibly may but we'll cross that bridge when we get there why unplugged book box is in the process of securing new bigger studio custom boxes that are also recyc recyclable and more eco-friendly it is a time-consuming process, friends, but totally worth it. In the subscription box world, most box companies enforce a high minimum order quantity for box purchases. In an effort not to waste on overbuying the old unplugged boxes, because the newer boxes will be bigger, the old boxes may not fit some of the items planned for future months. You will see this basic box in March and April. The good news is the box this came in is fully recyclable. Unplugged truly hopes that the outer appearance did not impact your unboxing experience. Custom boxes will return soon, promise. Promise. Questions of concern, blah, blah, blah. I really don't mind it and I really appreciate it. Then all about burnout. What is burnout, etc. If you want to read what's written here, just press pause. <laughs> then we have here the Young Adult Fiction Photo Challenge. And on the other side we have oh that's the new way they are uh putting out the um playlist which is actually my favorite item or thing from this box uh, every month there is a playlist created on spotify you don't need to be a subscriber to have access to that playlist so just go and check we have some bts here a little mix uh, Demi Lovato, uh, Billie Eilish, The Beatles, Ed Sheeran, etc, etc. I'm gonna listen to that playlist after filming this uh, while working, so I do love that. And I think that all we have left is actually the book, if I'm not mistaken. No, we're right. Okay, so this is Creativity April 2020. There's a theme for next month. And here we have some vendor reveal knitters whimsy. Oh, that looks fancy. I love it. Whatever it is, I will be happy. So here is uh, the book. Oh yeah, I remember. So this is The Midnight Lie by uh, Mary Rutrowski. I never read anything by her, uh, but I wanted to, which was... Okay, which book I wanted to try by her? Yeah, The Winner's Curse, I think it was. Yeah, I think that's the one that's on my TBR. We got a signed book plate. Uh, okay, so the book naked looks like this i love green and silver i'm a slytherin you know there is can you see i think it's the the same as you see here engraved i do love it is there something on the back of the book i don't think so but the book itself is gorgeous with that on on the back and that on the front i really oh my gosh i'm so excited for that book not because it looks literary because of the snakes but because it sounded interesting so let me read you the synopsis very quick uh, where nirim lives crime abounds a harsh tribunal rules and society's pressures are reserved for the high kid life in the world is grim and punishing People of her low status are forbidden from sampling sweets or wearing colors. You either follow the rules or pay your thieves. 
and suffer the consequences. Nirim keeps her head down and a dangerous secret close to her chest. But then she encounters Seed, a rakish traveler from far away, who whispers rumors that a high kid possesses magic. Seed tempts Nirim to seek that magic for herself, but to do that, Nirim must surrender her old life. She must place her trust in this sly stranger who asks above all, not to be trusted. Set in the world of the New York Times bestselling winner's trilogy, this epic LGBTQ romantic fantasy is about learning to free ourselves from the lies of the Taos and the lies we tell ourselves. So yes, romance, blah blah blah, but everything, the context uh, seemed really interesting. I love that book. I love, I mean, the cover of it. It's really appealing. It's talking to me. So I'm really excited to actually dive in that one. And it's not like super 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 long actually how many pages eh, 350 so that's fine but i'm really really intrigued by this one hmm. okay well uh let me know what was your favorite item from this box um i think mine is gonna be obviously the playlist the lotions um uh, that unique thing that i've never seen before I love the book, I love the candle, I love like uh, the bookmark, I love the streamer because I'm addicted to that but yeah never mind everything was my favorite item in this box, everything were my favorite items in the box, do the grammar as you wish but yeah I'm super super happy but now I'm gonna leave you all um yeah let me know if you like that kind of very cozy and chill videos so maybe i could film more like this and not you know putting makeup and all the lights and whatever uh next week normally i'm gonna upload a vlog but that's for another day but yeah well i really hope you're good you're safe and yeah talk to me here on instagram on twitter wherever you want but yeah well Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section as usual. And until next time, take care, Wolves.